हेलो फ्रेंड्स जय हिंद आई वेलकम यू टू माय चैनल एंड इन आवर टेक्निकल सेशन टुडे वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट द बॉयलर बेसिक्स ऑफ द बॉयलर टाइप ऑफ द बॉयलर एंड हाउ दे वर्क सो लेट्स स्टार्ट व्हाट इज द बॉयलर अ बॉयलर इज अ प्रेशर वेसल इन विच वाटर अंडर प्रेशर इज कन्वर्टेड इन टू स्टीम बाय द एप्लीकेशन ऑफ कम्बक्शन इन अदर वर्ड्स इफ आई से इट इज सिंपली अ हीट एक्सचेंजर विच यूज इज रेडियंट हीट एंड हॉट फ्लू गैस इज लिबर्टेड फ्रॉम बर्निंग फ्यूल टू जनरेट स्टीम एंड हॉट वाटर फॉर हीटिंग एंड प्रोसेसिंग लोड्स there are mainly two types uh, of boiler are there one is the fire tube boiler second is water tube boiler and in this slide you can see the six main basic parts of the boiler burner combustion space convection section stack air fans controls and accessories let's start uh, with the fire tube boiler hot flue gases flow inside tube uh, that is submerged in water within a shell where pressures up to about 10 bar produce up to 14 tons of steam per hour can meet wide and sudden load fluctuation because of large water volumes and uh, usually rated in hp in fire tube boiler there are two kinds of boiler one is the wet pack design and uh, another is dry pack designs in uh, wet pack design have a water wall at the back of the boiler in the area where combustion gas is reserved direction to enter tubes and in dry bag designs refractory is used at the back instead of a water wall internal maintenance is specified but refractory replacement is expensive and overheating gauging and cracking of tube and at the entrance to return gas passes often use problems there are certain uh, advantages of uh, fire tube boiler one is the low initial cost second uh, the control is very less simple operation hai and uh, few disadvantages are there where advantages there so one is the drum exposed to heat increasing the risk of explosion large water volume resulting in poor circulation and limited steam pressure and evaporation in this slide you can see water tube boiler water flow through tubes that are surrounded by hot combustion gases in a cell usually rated in tons of steam per hour and used for hp high pressure steam uh, high capacity in recent years interest have been uh, revived in high temperature hot water heating system for uh, institutions industrial and commercial plants by increasing the temperature and pressure of the hot water and increasing the size of generators some advantages are gained over the low pressure steam heating system previously used in other cases special four circulation boiler have been designed which consist of many rows of tubes without a steam drum in other type heat is supplied by steam from a standard type of boiler which heats the water in a direct contact heater this is referred to a case cut systems you can see in the slide there are a few advantages of uh, this water tube boiler one is the rapid heat transmission fast reaction to steam demand uh, high efficient hai it is a safer than fire tube boiler and same some disadvantages are there the control is critical then 
फायर ट्यूब बॉयलर हायर इनिशियल कॉस्ट मोर कॉम्प्लिकेटेड टू ऑपरेट एंड इन दिस स्लाइड वी कंपेयर्ड एडवांटेज एंड डिसएडवांटेज देर इज देर आर देर आर फ्यू डिफरेंसेस बिटवीन वाटर ट्यूब बॉयलर एंड फायर ट्यूब बॉयलर यू कैन सी इन वाटर ट्यूब बॉयलर द वाटर फ्लो इन साइड द ट्यूब एंड द हार्ट कंबक्शन गैसेस फ्लो आउटसाइड द ट्यूब एंड विज अ विज फायर ट्यूब बॉयलर द हार्ट गैसेस फ्लो इन साइड द ट्यूब एंड द वाटर इज आउटसाइड द ट्यूब देर आर जनरली हाई प्रेशर बॉयलर्स रेंजिंग अप टू सेवेंटी टू हंड्रेड बार एंड इन फायर ट्यूब बॉयलर देर आर लो और मीडियम प्रेशर बॉयलर्स एंड द रेंज मैक्सिमम अप टू ट्वेंटी फाइव बार वेयर फास्ट रेट ऑफ स्टीम प्रोडक्शन इन वाटर ट्यूब बॉयलर इन फायर ट्यूब बॉयलर इट इज लो रेट ऑफ स्टीम प्रोडक्शन वाटर ट्यूब बॉयलर्स आर मोर एफिशियंट एंड द फायर ट्यूब बॉयलर्स इज लेस एफिशियंट these boiler are mostly externally fired water tube boilers and in a fire tube boiler these are internally fired the furnace is placed at the one end of the fire tube sixth is suitable for large scale power plants it is small scale power plant for smoke tube boilers in water tube boilers occupy less floor space and these are uh, occupy large floor space because of uh, complexity uh, skilled person is required to operate water tube boilers and in fire tube boiler it is less complex so less skill is required easy to clean as it is externally fired and difficult to clean as internally fired the shell diameter is less in water tube boiler and in smoke tube boiler the diameter of shell is more Twelfth is easy to carry out maintenance, and uh, it is difficult to carry out maintenance in fire tube boilers. Water tube boilers are more environment friendly, and uh, these are uh, less environment friendly. Operating cost is high of uh, water tube boiler, and uh, fire tube boilers are operating cost is less. The example of uh, water tube boilers is Babcock and uh, Wilcox boilers, Stirling boilers, Lamont boilers, Benson boilers, etc. And uh, fire tube boilers examples are Crochon boilers, Lancashire boiler, Cornish boiler, Scotch boilers, locomotive boilers, Welcome boilers are there. So you can see in the slide the difference. between uh, water tube boiler and uh, fire tube boilers so these are the basics about the boilers hope you learn something different than the books because these videos are on experience based if you have any doubt or you want to say something about the video or you have any query about the boilers so you can comment me in the comment section of this video please subscribe my channel share my videos with your colleagues with your friends few new concepts again we will in front of you till then jai hind jai bharat